This journey has been 
Moses heard the voice of God. He said, lift up your hands, though they grew so Everybody smile. Amen. Isn't it good to be saved? Oh, I, we ought to be able to rejoice to know that our name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. How many know that tonight? Thank God for all of those. Let me do a little um, thank you for our church. Thank you for going for the, all the men that prayed with us this morning at 9 o'clock and those that went on the bus meeting um, and the visitation. Uh, the Lord blessed that. Thank you. I'm telling you, the Lord has uh, uh, blessed the bus meeting. God bless you for going. And I know uh, Sister Leah's after the fact. Uh, seen a lady walk in the street is that right sister uh, and the lady ended up uh, uh, rededicating her life to the Lord amen so thank thank the Lord let's give the Lord a hand Don't, ain't that good we ought to be able to shout that out hallelujah my my I'm glad God's still on the throne he still answers prayers and uh, thank God for what he's doing in our church I believe God's a help in our church you know revival when you call for revival I preached this one time uh, that if when you call for revival, uh, that means uh, you you're in a place that where you've uh, slid back, and you could move up a little closer. And I got reprimanded one time going out the going out the door one Sunday morning after I said it. He said, "I don't know about you, preacher, but I ain't backslid." Well, to me, that was a pretty good sign. There ain't nobody in this congregation tonight is. So saved that you couldn't move up a little closer and get, have a little bit closer walk with the Lord. I believe we all. I, I remember what uh, the brother said last night, amen, before he started the service. He said, we need help. He said he needed help. Brother, How many needs help tonight? I'm saved and I still need help, amen. Uh, there's things in my life, amen, things in, uh, amen, that, hey, God, I'm still praying for Still asking God for, and God's still real, and he can still answer those prayers. Hallelujah. Those songs they sang last night uh, about prayer. My, my. God answered a prayer for anybody this week? How about today? Hallelujah. We're here in God's house. Let's, let's uh, stand our feet tonight. Let's open up our service in prayer. And uh, remember all of those. It's good to have... Uh, with us tonight, John and Blen Brenda Bliss. Uh, I just met these folks last night, but they, I realized, well, I think I'd seen them before. Uh, amen. At brother, maybe Brother Gary's church, maybe, in uh, different places, but didn't really know who they were. Uh, but they're from Plain City, did I get that right? Plain City, Ohio. They were in our service last night. Uh, think they're going to be in our service in the morning, I understand. Uh, but th they do the prayer pillars, amen, and a new thing. What is that thing called? Pocket prayer quilt. quilt. Pocket prayer quilt, amen. And there'll be more said about that, but you need to go out and see the products in the uh, fellowship hall uh, before you leave tonight. But it's good to have them with us tonight. And it's also good to have uh, uh, the Snipe family with us, amen, from... Uh, it's Liberty Free Will Baptist Church. I believe they're in Lancaster, South Carolina. Amen. Good to have them with us. Uh, they'll be with us in the morning also. And uh, this is for those that knows Candace Snipes uh, that sings. This is her parents. Amen. Uh, understand Candace may be here with us in the morning. Amen. So we're looking forward to a great, great time. The Lord tomorrow. And, um, service now tomorrow is going to start at 10 o'clock. Somebody says that's Sunday school. Yeah, we're going to let our Sunday school superintendent do a devotion, but then we're going to turn um, the singers loose. Uh, and we're going to worship right on into the worship hour, and Brother might be a preaching, good Lord willing, and we're just going to, uh, amen, just see what God's got in store for us, okay? All right. Now, let me make more and more announcement. The March movement for the Foothills Association starts this coming Tuesday. Uh, the first service, it's every Tuesday of the month of March. Uh, the first Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, will be at the Bethel Free Will Baptist Church here on Old Number 10. It's my home church. Uh, I don't know who's preaching these. I think they take care of the, the preacher. Uh, it's going to be a preaching. But anyway, that's the first meeting. That's this coming Tuesday at 7 o'clock. And then it'll be the next Tuesday, it'll be the Redeemed Free Will Baptist Church. 
the Springwood uh, Free Will Baptist Church there in, uh, I call it Belmont, but it's Gastonia area. Do anybody know what, who's the fourth one? Or Trinity Hill. Hallelujah. And then the fifth one is the Way of the Cross. All right? So remember all of these, and let's go back to these meetings. Let's bow our heads tonight. Let's ask the Lord's uh, blessings on the service. Amen. Uh, I'm going to ask Brother Tony Owens. Brother Tony, would you uh, ask the blessings on our service tonight? May I have an usher to come around. We're going to get that out of the way. Um, where's my daughter? Is she close? Is my daughter here? Come on up here right quickly. We're going to take up an offering. Everything you give in this offering goes to Brother Mike uh, and Blanton and Evidence. So um, it's not filtered through. So everything you give goes directly to them. So dig deep. Amen. Help them get down to the next uh, amen appointment that they have. Uh, they've got a great ministry in the Lord. Uh, many souls are saved through this ministry. Can I get a witness there? Some of you not quite familiar, uh, but I know their ministry. Uh, many souls are saved, and uh, they've been through this pandemic. And uh, listen, everybody's hurt through that. Uh, but I want you to, to to give as God will direct you. All right. So uh, everything goes to them tonight. Lord, bless this offering. All God's people say. It. All right, you pray. My, it's good to have my mother with me this this evening, and uh, I'm gonna. Well, I pulled it on her, and she's might not, might not have sung it uh, in a while, uh, but we're gonna. Lord laid this on my heart. All right, you want up there right here? Okay.
you, God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Right, you can be seated if you can. I didn't do that. You just give it to her. Let me get her, get her back over there. Hallelujah. Well, I'm glad he's real. Amen. Anybody here tonight never heard Brother Mike Blanton in evidence? Never heard. It's the first time you've heard him. I ain't got a new crowd tonight neither, brother. Amen. It's good to have them with us tonight. Amen. From Grove City, Ohio. Amen. Brother Mike Blanton in evidence. Why don't we give the Lord a hand? He deserves a hand tonight. Amen. You Listen, this altar's open. You don't have to wait on man to call you. If you feel a need to pray, come. Amen. And let's just worship tonight. saved amen thank you lord good to be in the house of the lord His goodness to me. You asked how I make it all through the day. There's only one thing I could say. It's been a long journey, but I have been blessed. Walking with Jesus, I have no regrets. He is so good to me, I must confess. The way has been long, but I'm blessed. that I need, I find in his feet, 
When I'm hungry, he feeds me with manna so sweet. When my soul is weary, he gives peace and rest. And all I can say is I'm blessed. Well, I've had my share of sunshine and rain. Days filled with laughter and nights filled with pain. But with every mile as I travel this way, the journey gets sweeter each day. Jesus, I have no regrets. He is so good to me. I must confess the way has been long, but I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So much more than I ever deserved. I'm blessed. He's been faithful and true to his word. I'm blessed. I've been blessed by the hand of the Lord. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Oh, it's been a long journey. But I have been blessed walking with Jesus. I have no regrets. He is so good to me. I must confess the way has been long, but I'm blessed. The way has been long, but I'm blessed. Thank you tonight, Lord.
I tell you, I'm thankful that it's all covered. I want Mike to come and do this song. This is a brand new song we just recorded. It's a, well, it's a all actually an old song, but we kind of pulled it out and he heard this from someone else. And Kyla Rowland wrote this song many years ago. It's called "I'm No Stranger to Grace." Is that okay? I guess I should ask before I. <laughs> but. I'm thankful that, you know, I'm not a stranger to his mercy. I'm not a stranger to his grace. Where would we be without his grace? Thank you, Lord. This is probably my favorite song on this new project and the best song that Mike has ever sung. I love this. I want you to listen to the words. My first thought this morning was of my great riches what treasures such blessings the morning did bring there was joy beyond telling a hope beyond failing I'm acquainted with all of Oh! 
this morning as I tried to thank him. His peace fell around me the same as yesterday. And even though my tomorrow may have sadness or sorrow,
can't see, see no, no way. I've been there. I've been there. He makes a way. He makes a way. And did I mention he's been faithful to every promise he He's answered a lot of prayers for us, and he's been faithful to the promises he's made, and he's been faithful to a lot of things he didn't even promise us. And I was talking to Sister Gail today, and I know she gets discouraged from time to time, but, you know, heaven's going to be worth it all, worth all the sadness we go through, the, the struggles that we don't understand sometimes. But he didn't promise it's going to be an easy road, but he promised if we'd be faithful to the end, It'd be worth it all. I'm looking for a better place than this. And I'm glad when we cannot have anywhere to turn to, we can always turn to him. And our prayers will not get answered like we think. Just hold to his hand. He is the one that you can turn to to find comfort and refuge. He will be there here in your prayer. So call out to him.
he's touched your heart, you ought to just get up and come. He'll save you. He'll restore you. He'll give you whatever you need. He loves you. Nobody ever loved you like God does. Why don't you come? Seem like my prayers just hit the ceiling And I didn't think God even noticed my river of tears God, you've done it again. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes, praise the Lord.
us to ever forget lyrics i'm telling you i still believe covid is still this fog i ain't worried about it it ain't the first time it ain't gonna be the last time but i want Teresa to do this song i it just came to my mind i i love this it's, it's an old song it says he'll roll you over the tide <laughs>
we uh, pattern our ministry. We want to be obedient to the Lord. And uh, Shane said, are you going to preach? I said, ain't no use me preaching. The big preacher's already here. And uh, But I, I was thinking about Ruth when she came back to Bethlehem, Judah. And the Bible said that she happed into a field whose name, the owner's name was Boaz. The Lord led her in the right direction. <laughs> and she found what she needed and more than what she needed. She found the ephah that day, <laughs> but she got to set at the table with the master. My Lord God. And it wasn't long that he took her as his wife. And uh, she was brought into the family of God. If you read the book of Ruth, four chapters, every time it mentions her, it calls her Ruth the Moabitess. Until you get to Matthew chapter yes, 1. Oh. <laughs> then it says Obed, who yep. was born of Ruth. What happened to the Moabitess? Well, that was before the wedding took place. <laughs> yeah, when the wedding takes, when you join up with him, honey, you get a brand new name. Thank God. And I don't care what the world says. I, I'm too far down the road to try to change. This is my kind. You're my kind. I, this is my kind of worship. I, some folks don't like it. That's all right. They can be dull if they want to. I just, I just choose to rejoice. It's good to see the preacher run. Did you see the preachers run? Amen. That's good when the preachers run. He took one of them didos over at Brother Gary's church one year, a year or two ago, and he realized he was a lot farther around that church than it is this one. <laughs> Amen. He was—he didn't know hardly where to go, but uh, it's good when it gets that good. Amen. Praise God. If I didn't have this duck chew on, I might have took a run a minute ago. And uh, boy, it's good. I—I I, I, want We got a brand new song, another brand new song, and it, it, it's a—it's a little bit uh, just straightforward. I choose to stand. I ain't gonna bow to the world. I ain't gonna bow to a fake religion. I ain't, bowing, I ain't bowing to something that don't have no life in it. I'm going to stand for the Lord. I've got the right stuff. Amen. Now listen, I want you to bow your heads just for a moment. I, I don't know. Uh, they might could be yet someone else in this building, this sanctuary that's not yet right with God. And we want you to know we want you to go to heaven with us. And I, I wonder just before we sing this song, if there's one or more, nobody's looking but myself, if there's one or more, would just slip up your hand. Preacher, I'm not right with God. Maybe you've never been saved. Maybe you've drifted away from the Lord. Whatever, can I promise you God's not mad at you. God loves you tonight. But how many would just slip up your hand with mine quietly? You don't have to say a word. Take it right back down. You'll be saying by that. Would you pray for me, preacher? I'm not right with the Lord. Is there another one anywhere? God bless you. Thank you. I see that, son. God bless you. Someone else? Someone else? How about it, sir? How about it, ma'am? God bless. Anyone else? God bless you. I see that. Someone else? Someone else? I see that, honey. Thank you. Someone else? Someone else? Now, let me, let me, let me do this right before he, they sing. You're still praying. Everybody's still praying. Thank you for your time. Those of you that just now slipped up your hand that you're not right with God, or if you didn't and you're not right with God, could I humbly ask for you to look up here at me just for a second? I, I just want to share my heart with you. You know God loves you, right? Just, just nod your head. And God can help you, right? You know that. And God's touched your heart tonight. Is that correct? God's touched your heart tonight. Thank the Lord. That's a good thing. You know why? That's the only time you can get saved is when the Lord Jesus touches your heart. Now, I want to give you this opportunity before we sing this life song. Nobody's watching right now. I want to ask you if you really meant that. When you raised your hand, did you really mean it? I don't want to be lost. I don't want to go to hell. If you really meant it right now, I want to ask you to get up out of your seat and come to this altar and ask the Lord of heaven to save you. Would you come? Would you come? Sir, son, young lady, would you come? Just talk to that one beside of you. They'll come with you. I promise you they'll come with you. Would you come? Would you come right now? How about it? How about it? 
All right, we're going to sing this song. You can come on this song right now. We're going to sing it. We're going to stand across the building. You need to continue to worship the Lord. If God touches your heart and wants to ask you to get out of your seat and come like these others have come. He'll do the very same for you. That he's The way is not far, just over the hill to heaven, my home. And when I get there, I know I'll be free from all of our sorrow. My plans are all made, I'll never turn back, no more shall I
friend, I'm doing one more chorus just for you. I want you to come on this chorus. No. My Lord, to guide me along, I'll safely cross over. He'll never forsake, oh, praise his dear name. He'll always be near. I want to do something that uh, won't happen when you get to judgment. You say, oh, yeah, but preacher, why are you prolonging it? If I was a coming, I'd have went ahead and come. I'm going to ask you something. I don't ever head bow, every eye closed. We're going to close in just a minute. And I don't want to add to what the preacher, I just feel like led to do this. What's it going to take? Oh, you said, but preacher, you don't know what I've been through, and you don't know what I've fought, and you don't know my life. What, what do you mean, what's it going to take? Because I know what some of you are probably thinking. Well, I've, I've took a lot already. And why? Maybe you're questioning why. Why God? Well, I want to say, why not? Because God's no respect to a person. Just because I'm saved and my name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life, don't, it, it don't prevent sorrow coming my way, trouble coming my way, trials. Ask Job about it. Talking to somebody earlier in the week, and I said, listen, God's allowing your faith to be tried. The last few years, uh,
The last few years I've thought, Well, I thought the devil was about to kill me. You may be here and feel the same way. You say, well, preacher, what keeps you going on? Because I can go to God. When I'm down to nothing. And it seems like there ain't no hope. It seems like the devil's up on your shoulder and saying, you've prayed and you've prayed. And you've sought the Lord. Let me tell you tonight. The devil's a liar. God is dealing with a heart tonight. More than one. And God has showed me one. You say, but preacher, I've been to the altar and repented and Went back out and I've come to the altar a second time and repented. And I went back out. You know, Paul, the Bible says he died daily. And if you're waiting on, if you're waiting on some big sign, God bless it. If you're waiting on some big sign, I tell you what we need to do. Be like these little kids that's coming around these altars and these young people. You know, the Bible teaches us that's what the kingdom of heaven's like. You know why? They don't care who's seeing them. But I know what some I know what the enemy's telling somebody saying, I can't live it. I, I've tried it and I've done it and I don't want to come to that altar and, and give a false hope or get a false uh, hope and go back out. And, let me tell you something, friend. You can't live it. But if you allow God to live it in you. What are you playing? Why don't you sing a stanza of that, would you? We're going to close in a minute. We're not going to continue it on. God ain't going to make you, that's for sure. But if you knew it was your last opportunity, I'm talking about if you really knew it, I believe you'd come. But how do you know it ain't? Sing that sing it verse, if you will, while they're praying. Christian, pray. Service is near and an end, and the choir is singing, just as I am, now as the old song is played, people If God has dealt with your heart tonight, you're the most privileged individual in the world tonight because he's Some graced are you finding mercy to speak to you forgiveness for their sins and to feel his Some conviction drawing power and struggling to win the time has come to give in to the Lord that's what this altar is for There's a love that's true. Jesus, he's a waiting friend. He's waiting here for you. Come quickly now before they close the door. That's what this altar is for.
and a mother kneels beside them. She's thanking God they've come. An old man is standing there in tears. He's given up a part of him that he's held back for years. Hearts are being Those who call upon him now will never be the same. The time has come to give in to the Lord. That's what this altar is for. That's what this altar is for. You don't have to care. the service tonight hallelujah well if you gave your heart and life to Jesus tonight and you're proud of it raise your hand look at that 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 earth hallelujah hallelujah amen praise God you made the most important decision in your life hallelujah let me tell you, best decision you'll ever make. This younger generation, just generation we're in today, they're thinking if you give your heart and life to Christ, it's going to be some drab, some dark thing. Let me tell you something. It's the most joyous thing in the world. It don't, it don't mean you have to walk around with a frown on your face. Glory to God, I can cut up just like anybody else can. But in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. At least I can go home tonight. Hey, you folks that raised your hand, you can go home tonight and sleep. <laughs> Hallelujah. Not have to worry about if I, did, if I didn't wake up. Hallelujah. If I go home tonight, hey, I, I can go to bed. And if I don't wake up here, I'll wake up there. Hallelujah. It'll be goodbye here and hello over there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's peace. That's peace. But we're in trouble in America, and I'm going to close. Lots went on this week in America. I've not been uh, looking at a whole lot of new people who've been passing along to me. What was the name of that thing? How many of heard of the Equality Act this week? The Equality Act. If it keeps, if it keeps going on down, it keeps getting passed. The church is going to be put to the test. And it's going to show what the church, I'm not talking about the church, I'm talking about the local church. It's going to show what the local church is made of. I mean, he's with me. I got, a du I got a duty as a pastor of this church. And I don't care what they pass in that equality act, of what it's called. I'm still going to stand on this. Social media may be able to censor me. And if I'm still alive, I'm going to tell you that equality act ain't going to change the way I preach. Amen. Amen. Ain't going to change the way these fellas preach. But we need to pray as, listen, God's able to, and by the way, I believe God is getting all this stuff together. Jesus is coming. Let me tell you something, friend. Hey, God knows what he's doing. He ain't sitting in heaven, amen, wondering what he's going to do, twiddling his thumbs. He's God. 
We may not understand it. Billy Graham said one time when he's talking about a back, you've probably seen that going over Facebook. About, they told him in the back, and he said, hey, God told him, if you know what I was doing, you wouldn't believe, if, believe me anyway. If God showed America what he was doing right now, some of you have lost faith because maybe the election didn't go your way. Let me tell you something. I did, listen, I, I, hey, it, I ain't going to be ashamed. It didn't go the way I wanted it to go. But I'm going to say this. It don't matter. Because God still got it in control. Well, hallelujah. Thank God. God's so good. Boy, I'm so blessed. Amen. How God's helping going home church. And how many got help tonight? How many, again, how many enjoyed the service? They've got, they've got product out here in the fellowship hall. Uh, they've got CDs. They've got Bibles. They've got prayer pillars. And they've got pocket prayer quilt. And I'm going to tell you, listen, most, a lot of the product he, they don't charge for, but they would love for you to toss something in that box to help them get down the road. Amen. Uh, I'll tell you some. I've heard some folks say somebody needs a new Bible. Don't get it offline. Go, you, go to, you go to Mike Blanton and Evans' table there. Buy it from them. All God's people's there. Help, help somebody that's helping somebody else. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, listen, be, uh, if, you're, if you're a member uh, of Trinity the Hill, be at Trinity the Hill in the morning. And if you come up here, I won't tell him. I love you, preacher. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. But Trinity the Hill has backed this revival real well, and I thank God for them. And you know I'm teasing. But if you're a member going home, you'll be here. They're going to be back with us in the morning. So I want to encourage you to come. We're going to start the service now at 10 o'clock. I told the Sunday school superintendent we're not dismissing the Sunday school, but I'm going to let him share a devotion with you before we turn uh, Mike and them loose in the morning. So I'm, I'm telling you, if you miss, if you wait to the 11 o'clock hour, you, you'll probably miss it. And if God's, God's doing in these services, and if you're walking away unsaved tonight or in a backslidden condition, listen, Jesus still loves you. And even as we dismiss this service, ever how I'm not going to dismiss in prior, God's blessed it too good. But after we, amen, uh, set you at liberty to go, this altar's still open. Amen. So don't you, uh, hey, you still come up here and pray. You don't have to come to this altar. But he said, if you're ashamed of me, he said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father, which is in heaven. Amen. But listen, I'd come and confess it. Amen to the Lord. We all have to come the same way. Hallelujah. Let's stand our feet, if you will. Thank you for being in the Lord's house tonight. Thank you for backing the revival. If you've got lost family, lost friends, neighbors, get them to the Lord's house in the morning. Whether it's here, whether it's at Trinity Hill, uh, Salem, amen, wherever you're from, uh, amen, get them in the Lord's house. Get them under the preached word of God, okay? Is all minds and hearts clear? All right, if you save, shout glory. You're at liberty to go in the fear of the Lord, all right? Sometimes the way is long and hard. And sometimes I don't feel like traveling on. Sometimes I'm pierced by Satan's darts. And sometimes I just want to go home. But always He is with me. Always He still cares. Always He reminds me that He 